rain. The, this, uh, the rain may have dulls the roads but not the spirit exactly and we've got great spirit here and yep. it's the 60th year which is amazing when you think about the no. history here on Falmouth and what the Chamber of Commerce does by bringing all these people out right. I see the blue lights coming who are we who are we gonna have first I think it's probably the police the police are coming they're leading <laughs> they the, lead way. the way you sure they're not coming for you nope <laughs> we have a new chief in town Jeff Lowry yeah I hear he's doing great he's things a nice pleasant addition to the community he is and uh, and what about um, so we have a lot of folks who are lined up along the streets um, people brought their tents it's actually not raining right now so it's very nice and um, we have right behind us I think they can almost see it in our TV that the um, Frosty the snowman and Rudolph the red nose He's over there at Liam's. Right behind us, yet at Liam McGuire's. Right, the right. people are staying out of the rain. So here we are with the cruiser, and oh, there he, there they are. So now we have um, stuff a cruiser. Have you heard about that project that the police Don't are doing? Me. So what they're doing is they're um, raising money and toys for kids for Christmas, much like oh, the neat. toys for tots. But they're they're stuffing the cruiser, which is kind of a nice thing. I see it at Walmart all the time. Okay. Pretty great. Some, some kids carrying that sign for us in the rain? Yes, in the rain. Well, it's not raining now, which is great. Look how pretty people are cheering. They're not dampening us. Wow. We're Here's looking through the monitor to kind of keep score where, where we are in the, the parade. parade and what's coming. And there is our town crier. You oh. gotta love him, Dave David Vieira. Vieira. Okay. Town Crier, he's been doing this for years and years. And here's the Falmouth Chamber of Commerce with some of the board members. Um, Dressed warm and with their yep. umbrellas. I know Steve Peters was here, we saw him, and Karen Ronaldo. This is Mike, Mike Kasparian. Michael Kasparian. The ch the president of the chamber and been there for about 10 years now. Oh, there's Sue Zavala and her and husband. Sue. Jay, nice. Nice. Terry Keys is on the board. Bob Gillis and Colin Reed from the Woods Hole Oceanographic. Terrific. So the, ho the holiday theme for the parade is holidays through the decades. So we're going to be seeing people dressed in costume through the decades. Now this? This is Nell Fields. Oh my goodness. She citizen is Citizen of the Year last year. She's our Citizen of the Year. She is the Reverend for Wakoit Church, which has done some beautiful things. They're doing, uh, they're working in conjunction with the Jewish community hall and they're doing a Christmas dinner this year. Uh, they were instrumental through COVID, keeping the community together. She's a wonderful human and she does great things for our community. She's been a great addition. To right. Falmouth. She's very inclusive, which I love. I know when we moved, we brought a lot of home goods there. Oh, because she's got that great sale in right. July. Yep. Yeah. Terrific. Now we have the, oh, this is the Congregational Church, I think, coming up. This and is her parish. You can still go to her services online. She still has a um, online Sunday 10 a.m. opportunity for prayer, which I think is great. This is the uh, 175th year for the Wakoit Congregational Church. Oh, that's wonderful. Have you been in that building? It's pretty special. It is nice. It, it has still the old globes and everything. It's beautiful. Yay. So I love belonging it. Belonging to each other. Belonging to each a other. Nonprofit. Which they support. The Wilcoit Church is a big supporter of belonging to each other. Is this the Falmouth Road Race? No. Nope. Yes. It is. Oh, it is the Falmouth Road Race. The first road race was held in Falmouth in 1973. Uh, on, a, on a much a day like this, I believe. I think you're uh, right. Tommy Leonard. 
Yeah, Tommy Remember Lennon, him? great guy, quarter deck guy. Uh, yeah. He used to work a pub in Boston, and that's kind of where it all came from. Upcoming here is Cape Cod Five, Cape Cod Five Cent Savings Bank. They've uh, got a they've got a crew behind they've us. They've got a crew. <laughs> I think there's, well, a lot of the people from Cape Cod 5 are working behind the scenes, including like myself, yourself. yeah, <laughs> and, and I know I saw uh, uh, probably eight people from, you know, Fidelmer and um, Patty and Rob Reisner, but the Cape That's Cod wonderful. 5 is Community Bank, now, serving I, the Cape since 1855. And aren't you, aren't, um, uh, Cape Cod 5, isn't it a big sponsor year after year yeah. of this um, right. parade and they are the sponsor this year too yeah and hence the reason we can continue to do it because right. it's not um, inexpensive to run a parade no yeah not everything is gratuitous I mean right. some of the people yeah. right you were paid to appear yeah like the um, Aleppo's yeah. and, and the, the clowns and right. uh, we end up with uh, the having to invite people from off Cape to kind of spruce it up. We didn't get the horses this year because, as you said, they retired. God yeah. bless them. If and I they, may wax poetic about the yeah, Halimore. Yeah, but don't be neg negative. They deserve to be retired, they, just they, like you. Yeah, all right. But, <laughs> but they get to go out to pasture. Oh, yeah, we're not letting you but do that. But the Halimore family's been very generous with those horses over the past years. You know, to bring down 10 horses every year with probably 10 handlers. Right. Uh, with the tractor trailer trucks and the horses. The and by horse the way, the horses don't mind the rain. No. They would have loved it. But, you know, uh, they they did make a generous invitation yep. that we could go down and visit them any time at the ranch, right? They have a beautiful uh, stable in Lakeville right off uh, Route 18 heading south. You can visit the uh, Clyde Still horses there. The gentle giants are 2,200 pounds, and they eat 50 pounds of food a day. Oh my goodness! I love those things. I do too. I do too. Look I miss at, them. We've got our dancers coming. These kids have been so excited about the parade, and I'm so thrilled that they actually are here with us. And they're probably keeping nice and warm, don't you think? Yes. <laughs> but they're they're here every year. They do a great job. They did um, do a great job. You know, especially the, where the, the high school band is not here and things have changed with some of the... Uh, oh, but you can hear them. It's all, They're having a lot of fun. But so, this is... Uh, is the this the Cliff dance, Wops? Dance space, right? Um, they're having an awful lot of fun. That's all I can tell. This is Deb Brainlaw's organization, I believe. I think that, uh, and I love they always have these festive costumes. Oh, I think they have a snowman, a jolly old snowman there. Frosty, dancing. Oh, how fun. I believe this is Dance Studio in Falmouth, uh, fastest growing dance studio in town. Yeah. 150 students. That's great. I love that they start so young. It gives them great poise. Oh, Martha's Vineyard Bank. Well, Martha's Vineyard Bank, headquartered on the vineyard, but with three offices here. Yeah, they've really uh, come alive, haven't they? President is James Anthony. Um, See James Anthony, but Terry Times, the local from Falmouth, has been with the uh, the bank several years, and they do a nice job as a local community bank with offices in uh, downtown Falmouth, Woods Hole, and oh, look at the road race uh, banner came after the road race car. Oh, okay, it's okay. The Sea Scouts are next. Now these guys have this wonderful. Um, have this wonderful boat they're towing. I think Bill LaRufa has a lot to do with this. Bill Ru LaRufa is a long family friend of ours, and he just loves working with the kids. So the Sea Scouts, they meet on Monday nights. Um, a lot of teenagers take are active in it. 
and uh, they work the water on the summer. It's a nice organization. You know, it's it, so great it, to have an outlet for them. Right. And it enhances our whole uh, marine community. Right. Chapman oh. Funerals, they, they always support the parade, which we appreciate. Yeah. And here's our Boy Scouts, or are those the Cubs? Dave That's Chapman, it. owner of the Chapman Funeral Homes now, uh, yeah. does a great job. Yeah. He's changed his moniker, kept it young and refreshed. Exactly. And there they are. Jeez, I wonder, do they still do the derby races? <laughs> Boy Scouts? The, the wooden, the yeah, wooden the, cars. Yeah, soapbox. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. soapbox derby, so much fun. Ooh, someone has a great horn behind us. Oh, these kids are so happy to be here. And it's not raining. So here we have John Q. Is that it? Oh my goodness. Is that the better? It? Sister yeah, John look Q. At that. We've uh, got Rosie the break. Riveter. Yeah. Woo -woo. See? Um, the Joe Q Veteran Coffee Break is an all-inclusive 501C. They've assumed the, uh, the former senior center and um, they're helping veterans and their families find fellowship, build connections and an access, and a so wide access to a variety of programs and resources. They said that they um, they did the years, the decades, holidays through the decades, and the old car there is to represent the Bob Hope years. But they're looking for additional support and the cost of renovating that property. Um, and there'll be a ribbon cutting in May. Memorial Day, they yes. hope. I think that's Wareham Ford. Okay. Now they're coming fast and furious. And the Chase Foundation. Team Chase Foundation. Team Chase. Uh, they challenge us for kindness and awareness. It's a they have an international kindness group. And they're all over the country. Falmouth Hospital. And hey, the, the world, really. The Falmouth Hospital is here now. And it's their 60th as well. Falmouth Hospital 60th anniversary, along with the, the parade, and also uh, Michael Kasparian turned 60, uh, president of the ah, chamber. Were you supposed to let that out of the bag? No, well, it's out. <laughs> <laughs> Yay to Falmouth Hospital! How lucky are we to have such an extraordinary health institution in our in our little town? And th their blood mobile is here, and we'll be seeing that around the town as well. They do great work. It's all part of Cape Cod Healthcare. But it really is a luxury to have Falmouth Hospital in our community. Wow, someone's got a bubble making machine. We love those. This newcomers association. I'm having a hard time keeping up. I love that they have it's La Rosa Mechanical. Oh, and the Grinch is here with Max. De Rosa Mechanical. So glad they could be a part of it. Now, is this part of the Clancy entourage? I think this might be. Let's see, there's Oh, well, this De Rosa, De Rosa Mechanical. Mechanical. Long now time. we're at um, the Lynch. Oh, Jerry. Some with newcomers. They're doing a great float with all the old, with all the old um, banners. And we've got the bands coming up. It's going to be great. Yay! The Massachusetts Maritime. Maritime Academy Band. Mass Maritime Band. They'll come out with small craft warnings. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's great to have them here. Wonderful corporate citizen. And what a what a program they offer. You know, they said no little rain was gonna keep them away. Nope. You know, you come out of that school, uh, professional yeah and you'll have a job I love that school yeah I do too I love this band just the energy it brings right yeah 
Now this okay, looks this, like uh, this is Clancy. Clancy Construction. Clancy has many trucks. I think they he had five trucks. vehicles in it, and Greg Clancy does a great job. They build a wonderful home. Uh, he's become one of the premier builders in town. You know, one of the things that I love is they have their they have their own Clancy um, wrapping paper. Yep. Woo -woo. So much fun. They had a good time putting this together. We got to meet them before the parade, right. and they were they had the whole staff on board doing uh, things. Greg's, Greg's father was Joe Clancy, an appraiser in town with whom banks and brokers work, yeah, worked yeah. with many he's, years. He's uh, one of my favorite people. Yeah. Here, um, he's uh, plays tennis with my husband. Oh, here's Lori Lori coming down. I love her. She's, Lori Lori with the umbrella. She is uh, with the um, pixie. You'll be seeing her in a minute. There she is, Lori Lori. You've, she's been on the radio for 35 years. Pixie 103. She's Pixie 103. She's got. She's part of that uh, conglomerate of um, radio stations. Always happy to have them show up for this event. And then Cavosa. Oh, Cavosa's a this Cavosa. hometown guy. Yep, Carl Cavosa owns the company. His son. Sam and Nick are with him now, and his daughter, his wife They're Kristen. Great. He's They're a wonderful group. corporate citizen, former chairman of the uh, chamber. He takes I, good care. I think he was citizen of the year. He could have been. Hey, here's them. Um, they're pulling the um, gymnastics group, the flip flops. Gymnastics through the decades. And that's just the kind of guy he is he you know will you know, donate a truck to help well, out any nonprofit. 20 years ago he was pulling houses off of uh New oh, that's silver right, beach and removing boulders and surf drive and you know He's, he can always count on Kyle. Right there. we have the best noise in the spot don't we yes <laughs> now if there'll be a little bit of a calm we do Everybody loves this. It's good stuff. Oh, here they are. Excellent. Found the Alps is here. Elks. Oh, that that must be flip flops, right? Yeah. Okay. And Found the Alps is here, promoting drug awareness. The Alps is a worldwide org organization founded in New York in 1868. They're a great group, and they do so much for the community. Um, and they uh, offer those fish fries on Friday hey, nights. And Falmouth Youth of Hockey League. Yeah, hey, they Good just cut off the ice, out. you know. They had, uh, uh, they had hockey this morning, so it's a big deal that they well, got here on time. This is great to hear. <laughs> Established in 1967. Allison LaRusso, I believe, is the president of the organization now, doing oh, a great that's job. Great. Um, maintaining affordable hockey. That's wonderful. For the, for the children of Falmouth, boys and girls programs. Um. I think this is a, one of the best Hello. things we, in our new ice arena. Well, it's not new anymore, right? But the, the, the ice arena really oh, makes great. it so wonderful. For you know, these Falmouth kids. always plays above its level. You know, even with high school, a total enrollment of 700 students in high school, and they put out a a nice quality product for hockey competing against Division One teams. Isn't that terrific? Yep. Here's our fire department. This has been very exciting because they really did the through the decades. We've got the 1927. Led by Deputy uh, Scott Thrasher. We have uh, a 1927 Hearns Fox 1000 gallon minute pumper driven by Christopher Massey. We have the 2023 PS Arrow, 1,500 gallons a minute, driven by uh, Lieutenant Patrick Friel. We have a PS Arrow XT, driven by Henry Sabins, and we have a 2010 brush cutter, driven by James Craven. the fire 
paychecks. It's the, it's the best to be able to drive, to ride in your truck. Mid Cape, uh, acquired wood slumber years ago, maybe 10 years ago now. Has it been that and long, huh? Wow. Very generous organization, got quickly active in the community, donated their front door to the chamber up. That's right, that's right. Very generous. Oh, and Hollingbird. Hollingbird has been a Hollingbird. year winner. Yep. Every year they bring something. Look at that, they've got yep. their Lego chamber. Tom Clark and Annie Yacovella. Uh, <laughs> they're cute. Do custom screening. He mentioned he's one of the only manufacturers downtown. Didn't he say 47 years in the business? Yeah. That's amazing. Since 1976. God bless him. That's terrific. Well, and that black dog. You the got black, black dog. And I think they roped in uh, Frank Geisiker to be the driver. Right. He's the former but manager you know, Black there. Dog's been around since 1973. Started out on the vineyard by the Douglas family. Captain Bob and his wife Charlene. Wow, that's uh, great. And his three sons. There's been a little bit of uh, a change with uh, Dan Pasello and some local investors taking a, a, an interest in it. So it's, it's And they've great. expanded to the cafe. Yeah, the cafe the over the here in the Heights is operated by uh, Kate Sampson, does a great job. I think we've got our... Friends of Falmouth Dogs. Yeah, we've got the Gosnell banner just went by in St. Joseph's Church. Just here it is, St. Joseph's Guardian of the Holy Parish. Which we love. St. Joseph to see. is a combination of uh, the Archdiocese uh, of Falmouth, which included Elizabeth Seton, St. Anthony's. Oh, here comes my favorite float. Couldn't be prouder to work for a company like Sotheby's. And there's my gang. Oh, what's the name of your organization Sotheby's again? International oh, Sotheby's Realty. Oh, okay. And where are they? Are they downtown? They're just downtown. Oh, yeah. okay. A pretty great group. And uh, there's a lot of the folks who uh, work with me at the office. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, Sotheby's. And we're happy to see. They're doing free hot dogs at the office right now. Nice. <coughs> Is this homespun God? Yes. Oh, no. They um, had to pull out, unfortunately. Okay. Well, here we have <coughs> Michael Duffany Builders. And they do beautiful things. Mike Duffany and uh, his wife, Christy. Uh, Tim. Uh, this is Mike's 40th anniversary in business. In business or in the parade? In business. In business. Wow, that's terrific. I think he must have started right out of high school. Yeah, I would think so. Again, hometown love, right? Yep. People that are uh, Mike really Duffany committed. was a former citizen of the year for the Falmouth Chamber of Commerce as well. He's been active in the board, an excellent corporate citizen, active in many events here in the town. Mike Duffany. Here's the Marine Lodge, and they're doing, you know, uh, their their theme is uh, through the through the decades. They have George Washington crossing. But Tim and Todd Duffany are coming up, another generation of operators. The Masons. Yeah. That's a nice, the Washington Cross in the Delaware. That's Cross nice. The Delaware. Making good men better, they say, right? Yeah. And then here's the winery. We all certainly love the winery, and the mermaids are here to wish us all a happy holiday. But the Masons Lodge, it's been around since 1798, and it was formed here in town by Paul Revere. Wow, that's great. Yep, Cape Cod Winery. They've come a long way, no, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. They do a lot of good things, a lot of good events. It's located in East Falmouth and created an outdoor space. A fun place to be year round. 12 different wine varieties, including their beloved Mermaid Water Rosé. Huh. Yeah. I'll have to get over there. It's wonderful. Oh, and here are the Come have a glass and enjoy. I wonder if they have a couple glasses on that float. Uh, <laughs> my sense Maybe was hot toddies. Now these are the... Aleppos. Oh, the Aleppo Shriners yeah. Clowns. 
uh, in their golf carts. It's a little different. But they're here. They're here. They're here. And we're happy to have them. And usually um, they're followed by... Plain clowns with a train and golf cart. There must be a train coming. I would think that it's behind them. No. Yeah. Gives us a little chance to talk about the other dance studio that went past us. That we didn't get to visit? Right. And, and we had a little technical difficulty in the middle of that, so... you make your closing remarks, face the Okay. Thank you. Great. It, it has... There's a lull in the parade and there yep. is no rain. No. Nope. Still. Which is nice. We saw the Sea Scouts. We saw Martha's Vineyard Bank, Cape Cod Five. Uh, we didn't see the Clippers Band. You know, for uh, two people trying to MC this event <laughs> with a book that is no longer in date. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and no I longer think we're doing in order. Okay. And yeah. With our back to the parade, I don't know. I think we're doing pretty well. Yeah. It's and it sounds like, um, you know, they're catching up. We're now, we had the slowest golf cart, but maybe this one is truly slower than ours. Uh, but here are our clowns. Oh, here's an Aleppo clown. And you said there might be a train coming, I think. Oh, the juggler. Juggler. Oh, the juggler. Oh, he dropped the ball. So we had the Falmouth Elks come through. I wonder if that clown mobile is to help them catch up. Here they come. Oh my goodness. This, oh, here this are is the so Aleppo great. clowns. Look how colorful they are. You know, they actually have a clown college that you have to go through to get permission to be one. I think maybe I, that's what I'm going to do in retirement. Well, Go to the, the Aleppo Clown College. Come on, don't laugh at me. Yeah, no, I, I should look into that. <laughs> See, that's yeah. something to think about. I have about. a future. You could be the conductor of the train. Yeah, oh wow, yeah. Think of all the happiness you bring. Oh, I love this. So this they is are great. here in Moss. It's got a Thomas smile on the front of that train. That's wonderful. We saw sun retreats come by, right? They were here. Uh, 30 team members, and they operate the oh, campground on Thomas Landers Road. Oh, right. Yeah, they were. Now, what do we have here? <coughs> We've got the um, Falmouth Living Magazine in that fun oh, little Oh, Falmouth there. Living. What a nice publication that is. Isn't it I great? see that in many of the Susan stores Ryan. downtown. She's got all those great, um, those are stick on um, decorations on her vehicle, which I think are great. That is a nice publication. It's a beautiful one. Yep. I had the pleasure of being in the first one, I think. Yep, I know our bank advertises in it. And so does the other one. Okay, so the next thing coming up, there she goes, there goes Sue Ryan. We should probably, um, Sue Ryan does a great job and it's a, once a year, isn't it? A once a year publication, Falmouth Living. Uh, Pick of the Litter lovely. is coming up, which has become the hottest spot in Falmouth. Do you know about Pick of the Litter? It's Oh, it's up the, it's uh, at the transfer dump. station. Yes, yep. and they do great things. Um, they have a lot of, uh, opportunities for picking up uh, treasures. You know, one person's junk is another person's treasure. The ladies up there do a great job. Hey. Well, here we are. Moriarty Tree Service. It's coming right behind Pick yep. Up the Litter. I've, I've spent we're, time with them. We're, and so yeah, you know them well. So Mick Moriarty's back in action. It's great to there see him. There he is. Look at he's on the float. Yep. Love it. Hey Mick. Hey. That's great. You know, so tell about what happened with him. Well, he had an accident uh -huh. and uh, he was hurt pretty badly. Uh, but meanwhile, the business was still operating by his crew, and uh, they do a great job. And he's Zah. back. Zah. Oh, here's the misfits. Now that, that's great. Look at that boat. That's sells fabulous. an Italian-made inflatable boat. That now that has that is great. That is fantastic. I think it's owned by Sean Burke, and it's up on 28A in Katamad or Pocasset. Uh -huh. That's great. Here's and, Santa. Uh, 
Oh, so it's a great yes. job. This is last year's winner, McDougal's. Uh, and they have Santa on there, but Jason Moniz is overseeing this, and they get to carry Santa, having been last year's winner. winner. McDougal's, well-renowned boat dealer <laughs> and service center. That's awesome. Jason Minis. I can't believe how much fun this has been. And, and you know, the, the folks have really rallied and come out for it and enjoyed it. Here comes the DPW bringing up the back. We've got the, the, the final car being the police, the police car. Great event, as always. Can't even believe we got to the 60th year. It was a beautiful, beautiful event. Yes. And we, we did pretty well. We didn't get too cold or wet. No. I think, I it, think it was a great day, all in all, outside of the weather. Hey, there we are. So thank you so much for being with us here at the 60th annual Falmouth Christmas Parade. It's Steve, a, let's... It, it's an interesting to see how people came out late. Yes. Uh, it wasn't, a, you know, it wasn't a bus the way people had put it in the paper, which was lousy. Yeah. Uh, on online, but I think uh, all in all, it was a great day. I think the spirit was here. I think the people who showed up had a great time. Yep. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm Annie Hartcool with Sotheby's International Realty, and, and I'm Steve Spitz, retired from Cape Cod Five. But have a great you. holiday. <laughs>